Welcome to lab two in my lab manual for guide to computer forensics and investigation. We are looking at the fifth edition by Andrew Blitz. We are focusing on chapter two. Uh, we're going to be doing lab 2.1 to begin with, which is securely wiping a USB drive. So one thing I've noticed is this point in the lab, this takes a long time. I've done this lab and it sometimes have been upward of two hours just to uh, wipe this USB drive. So I want to make sure that my removable device it happens to be a Kingston Patriot memory uh, USB drive is connected to my Windows 7 machine. And it is. So once I've plugged it in and I've verified it, I actually want to go ahead and open up Pro Discovery Basic. This keeps popping up. We can check do not show it again, but I actually want to leave it a uh, I actually want this to pop up so for now, I'm just going to cancel it. For our secure wiping, we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to go to the Secure Wipe. Wipe what device? We're going to be wiping E Drive. And our lab manual says 7, but I'm actually going to just do it 1. Make sure that this is our flash drive. Make sure we have the appropriate number of passes. Click start. We will get a, we're going to remove all data off of it. That's OK. There is no progress bar. We're just looking at the bottom of it to say securely wiping. And you may get a progress bar on the far right hand side. Notice the time. I'm not going to uh, record the entire length of time, but I want to make note uh, of the time. Okay, so notice the time now. It's been a little while. But we have a fully formatted flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize Pro Basic or Pro Discovery Basic. And I actually want to look at my flash drive. It's been wiped and it is now just sitting there. So we're going to go ahead and format it. I'm going to select it. I'm going to format it. I'm going to choose NTFS. And I want to name this evidence. E-V-I-D-E-N-C-E. -E -E. I'm not going to do a quick format. And yes, that will prepare my flash drive. And while that's doing that, I'm going to work on the next portion. I want to copy from the accompany book things from chapter two, project one. So probably lab data files, chapter two. I'm going to be copying over that when I am done. This format process does take some time, so again, be patient. So, formatting did take a little bit of time, but it's done now. So, I actually want to go ahead and close it. I want to open my evidence, and I want to move my Chapter 2 Project 1 over. And that's actually the end of Lab 2.1. This was actually a very long lab. Uh, even though realistically, like looking at the time, it seemed really quick. The formatting of the flash drive took a very long time. So I'm going to close out of everything. And in a second, we'll get started on Lab 2.2. Okay, so for Lab 2.2, we're going to be using our Pro Discovery Basic to uh, actually work with the flash drive we just set up. But we need to do a few things first. We need to create some folders on C drive. We need to have, first of all, one folder called work. 
And inside of work, they want us to have a folder called labs. And inside of labs, they want us to have three subfolders. Cases, data, and evidence. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and launch our ProDiscovery Basic. We are going to click on Action, and we are going to Capture Image. In the Capture Image uh, source, we actually want to go ahead and choose our E drive, which is our USB. We're going to go ahead and do uh, our destination. Choose a local path, and we're going to go ahead and stick it in our newly created folder, Work, Labs, Evidence. We're going to call this CSPROJ2. That's where we're saving it. Technician is name, put your name. And the image name, C2PROJ2. And it will capture the image. Progress bar is down here. It should take about 10 minutes. All right, so now that it's done, we're going to go and continue. We're going to verify that it actually was saved. C drive, work, evidence file, and there it is. It's a 7 gig image file. Perfect. All right, moving on to our next lab. So in this lab, we're going to be converting this to a DD image. So we're going to go back to action. Here we're going to choose, sorry, tools, image conversion, and we will convert image 2dd tool source should be again c drive work lab evidence and we're going to click ok that will then create this image as a dd image or it will take this and it will convert it to a dot dd file extension and it should only take a few seconds And let's just navigate there just to verify. We have a DD file and a EVE file. All right, next we're going to be going on to imaging evidence with the FTK imager. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out some of this. So I want to go back to my flash drive, my project files, and it wants me to find the quarter one employee excel file so quarter one employee file i'm going to delete it i'm also going to find the online document i'm going to delete that as well so we're going to open up the ftk imager we are going to Click File and Create Disk Image. We're going to create disk image. It should be an image file. I got ahead of myself. It's going to be a logic drive and we're going to select our evidence file finish we're going to add a destination we're adding the EO1 clicking next in the evidence item information type 
we're going to go ahead and type C2 project 4. We're going to go ahead and clone that out for the case number. Examiner, put your name. In the notes, USB image with deleted files. Next, we will do a destination. We're going to put it in C drive work evidence. And we're going to call this C2 project 4. And we're going to go ahead and click finish and start. And we're just going to let this run. This takes some while too, so again, you have to be patient. And after some time, it finishes. And that's the end of that lab. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, next lab, which is 2.5 viewing images in FTK Imager. All right, so let's go ahead and clear out some of these windows. Let's add an evidence file. We're going to be doing an image file that we just captured. We saved it to C drive evidence and we are working with the e01 file let's go ahead and choose the bigger of the files and finish in the evidence tree we should be able to see the evidence orphans and root we're going to expand out root we're going to go ahead and look at our chapter one project folder and you should see a red X between our online and quarter one because they're deleted files. So let's go ahead and select both of our files. And let's go ahead and export the files. We want to export them to C drive, to work, to evidence. And our export was successful. And let's go ahead and navigate there just to make sure. And there are two files. All right, go ahead and right click on the two files again. Let's export this as a hash file. We're going to call it C2. P J four deleted file hashes. And there it is there. So if you don't have Excel or anything, what I can do is I went ahead and I'm going to download an Excel viewer. I'm going to install an Excel viewer. That way I can read that CSV without a problem. And that's actually the uh, end of chapter two, but I do want to actually view that CSV. And we can look at the different hash values. All right, so that's the end of chapter two. We're gonna get more involved with the hash chat or the hashes in a later chapter, but the big thing there is just to show you that that's where they could be found. Thank you. That was lab two in a nutshell. Again, lab two takes longer than this video. I did pause it to do a lot of the more time consuming tasks like sitting and waiting. 